Bruce Rutledge. What's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Just practice, hard work. Um, my, my dad has always been big for me and helping me out and my brother, so we would always go out and, and do stuff together. He used to play, my brother used to play, so we would always practice together. And it's just always, always been fun for us. As a hitter, do you approach hit, uh, pitchers individually or do you have one approach for everybody? Um, I don't know, it, it kind of differs. Sometimes it's one way and, and other times it's another. Yeah. But for the most part, I, I try to keep the same approach for everybody. And if, it, if it's a guy that I've faced multiple times and, and kind of know how he's gotten me out before, maybe I'll switch it a little bit. But for the most part, it stays the same. Well, we talk about baseball, they talk about these first round draft picks and they have all the talent and then you have all the talent. But a lot of them sometimes get passed up by guys drafted in later rounds once they get in the organization. Why does that happen? Um, you know, sometimes it's, it's just it's just bad luck. Uh, things aren't going the way they want. Sometimes it's, it's their, their work ethic. Maybe. But, yeah, for the most part, I, I feel like if, if the guys that, that go up and do well, it's, it's because they, they're, they're putting in the time. Now, at spring training, you may show up, there may be 15 guys in your position. How do you approach that? You just got to take it day by day. You know, you do everything you can and, and not worry about the things that you can control. You know, just go out and, and play hard. And then if, it, if it doesn't work out then, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So you just got to have a positive attitude about it. Now, baseball has a lot of ups and downs. They call it a failure sport, up and down the organization, injuries and stuff like that. Has there been a time method you wanted to give up baseball? Um, yeah, I think there's been a time in, in most people's career where they've thought about it, but you know, you just kind of kind of keep going. How'd you overcome that? Talking with, with friends and, and teammates, family members, every, I mean, you just talk to everybody, uh, especially the guys that have played for a long time. You talk to them about it and, then, and they'll tell you that what you've went through is something they've went through before, so it really helps. What did you learn about baseball the hard way that nobody told you about? Uh, the hard way, probably just just playing at different levels. You know, just just seeing how much better the players are at at each level you go to. So yeah, the, just probably seeing the ups and downs firsthand instead of having somebody tell you about. Now, once you sign a contract, obviously you're a professional baseball player. But was there a point, at a moment in time that you can point to that you knew you were going to play professional baseball? Um, probably in, in college, maybe my, my freshman year in college. Uh, I mean, I've always wanted to play, even even at a young age. But uh, in college, I had, I had a really good freshman freshman year and, and uh, started thinking, well, maybe I can make a living out of this. So, yeah, probably. Probably then. Now in high school, did you play any other sports, and why did you pick baseball? Um, I played basketball until my ninth grade year, and then after that, it was it was just baseball. Uh, I was I was better at, at baseball than I was at basketball, so I just chose to do that. You read the sports pages, scouting reports, where Baseball America lists you in the rankings and all that stuff. I don't read any of that. Anybody call you, mom and dad, and say, "Hey, guess what I read?" No, don't talk to me about it. <laughs> How do you handle the fans, people yelling and screaming at you all the time? That's just part of it, you know. They they come to the game to have a good time, so they say whatever they want. How about the umpires? How do you handle the umpires? You know, it, it, it's tough for them, too. So you kind of got to give them the benefit of the doubt. They're going to miss calls, but they're also going to make a lot of good ones. So. What would you do a high school kid if he came to you and asked you about professional baseball? Um, I would tell him to go to college. And, and definitely try to try to get your degree and just see what it's like in, in college first. I, I think that um, guys out of high school, there's some guys that are ready, but then there's a lot of guys that I think would be better off for them to go to college and just see that and even go play summer ball and be off on your own and live in a different place, have different teammates and stuff like that. So I feel like that would, that would be better for guys. All right.